Okay, so after a day of mowing with this 72, my thoughts on it, if I can get it to where I want it, I can seriously see me loving this machine. It cuts great, it rides great, it's fast, but um, to be honest with you, I think I grossly overpaid for this mower, probably by about $1,500 to $2,000 I paid more than what it's worth. Um, I probably should have got this mower for $3,500, four grand at most. Um, I just, I don't know. I definitely overpaid for it for what I've had to do to it. I've had to do a lot of work to it. I probably have about 10 hours worth of work into this thing and a little over 800 bucks so far. And I can already see me spending more money. Um, I still haven't replaced all the deck caster wheels. There is one, two, three, four. There's six of them in total. They're not cheap. Um, if you get the good ones and not the cheap knockoffs, they're not cheap to replace them. I've had to put new tires on it already. Um, I've had to replace the hydro filters because something was wrong with them. No matter what you did, they wouldn't, um, they just wouldn't tighten up the way they're supposed to. So I've had to redo them. I've had to put three quarts of hydro fluid in it, uh, which is also not cheap. I had to the hydro lines going from the hydro motors down to the wheel motors you could literally just pull them right off by hand so the clamps were junk so i had to put um high pressure fuel injector clamps on it for a fuel injector line um and it seemed fine for a couple days i haven't had any spots under it but now i notice the one line on the left hand side if you're standing on the machine is coated in fluid again so that fluid or that line is definitely shot and leaking so i had to buy a hydro line kit from the dealer um that was definitely not cheap um, i can see me buying another hydro line kit to replace the lines on the other side um the uh uh, it has every once in a while it has this constant tick to the engine which i have had that noise before on uh, i have a Kohler efi on the v-ride 2 before i sold that um that would get it sometimes i know how to fix that it's just it's a pain um so i'll have to do that and hopefully that fixes that tick and there isn't an issue with this engine um, I also have that engine on the Xmark Vantage, so I mean, I, I know how to fix it if I can get it to actually work. It doesn't always work, but usually it does. Um, what else have I done to this thing? Oh, um, I loaded it up yesterday and took it to my house to mow my yard and my neighbor's yard with it. And I got done weed whacking everything, pulled it off the trailer, pulled it into the yard, went turn the blades on, the blades would not come on. Now I was told that sometimes that happens and the adjustable clutch is out of adjustment and that's why. Um, the specs for the adjustment on the clutch, you use a feeler gauge that has three 916 nuts that are on bolts on the clutch and uh, they have compression springs in between them. The adjustments between 15 and 18 thousandths is where it should be ideally. Um, and it was i checked it last night and it was at about 28 thousandths it was the gap on it so i adjusted it right back to about 16 thousandths and the blades came right on and then uh so we checked it again this morning before we left and they came right on and i used this thing all day long and every time i pulled the pto switch the blades came right on so at least that was a easy fix didn't cost me any money um but so there, there's just other random miscellaneous things so all in all i love the machine well, i love the way it cuts we'll see this year very first house and uh it's yeah raining. it's raining <laughs> like lightly misting on us by it's nine o'clock by two o'clock it's supposed to be like downpour and uh we did that one we gotta do one more i should have brushed myself off before i got in here we got one more to do, and then we have to stop over at my friend Paula's house where my enclosed trailer is because she used it this winter to move. Well, actually, I moved her, and I just left the trailer there for her to unload. But Because come to find out, my other FS111 weed whacker and my Edger are both inside that trailer, along with our third five-gallon gas can, so we only have two of them. You already so, got some stuff in here. Do I really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, little chunkies of grass. So we have to go over there stop by there it's not really out of the way very much so we're gonna swing over there and grab those out of the enclosed trailer and uh see what we can get done but this camera is coated in grass billy you really want the uh you really want the long 
the long haul to get those shots in. Things you gotta do to get them shots, man. You gotta I get literally the people held the camera and I turned like this and I was like, nope, nope. You gotta give the people what they want. I know I was gonna close the shoot blocker and I'm like, you know what? That looked really cool if grass is flying at that camera and then I slow mo it in post when I'm editing it. That's and I'm I like, ah, there's nothing hard coming out of this mower. Billy could take it. <laughs> Next thing you know, you get pinged in the head with a pine cone. Remember when I was mowing that one time and I shot the pine cone out of the deck and it hit Pat in the back? He was walking with a weed whacker, hit him square in the center of the pack. Yeah, or Connor, um, when you. Pat was in. like. Pat was like 6'2", 6'3", like 240 pounds. He's a big dude. And it hit him square in the side of the back. He's like, oh, and he freaking dropped right to the ground from that pine cone. When well, you were doing that nasty job in that backyard and you were on the mower. Kind yeah, of I just did a video in. like a month ago and it was a recap of stuff or something like that. And, uh, oh, it's the one where I did about my teeth. Yep. My teeth getting fixed. And uh, I had clips in there from previous years, and I made sure I included that one in there about uh, Connor's teeth. Connor's kind of getting... teeth, my teeth. <laughs> about Connor kind of getting, getting whacked with that stick out of the mower. We were doing that big cleanup. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what else we can fill for you guys. Hey, it's looking a little more clear where we're headed right here. We're going to see how many we can get done because uh, I had a lot of customers call me. They figured last week when it was really nice all week, we would be mowing. And so when we didn't show up to mow, because we're always the first ones in the area to mow, we just did a ton of mulch and cleanups last week. So uh, they're like, are you still cutting lawns? I'm like, yep, you're on the list. We're starting our first cuts this week. And of course, now it's like calling for rain like three days this week. And I think tomorrow they're calling for light snow showers. <laughs> we should have cut them all last week. But some of them are kind of getting up there. The rest of them, they're not too bad. So we'll see what happens. Oh, look, somebody took a shortcut. Oh, yeah. They didn't want to stop for that stop sign. They went right down through there. Look at them go. How convenient for them. All right, we're going to the next one. We'll see what happens. It's looking a little more clear over here, Billy. Yeah. You might be all right. <laughs> for a little while. But I don't know. I was going to discuss that 72 in this part right here, but I'll do a voiceover of me mowing that, and I'll discuss that because um, right now I'm happy. Yesterday Going I was there pissed. Too. And so, there. All kinds of tire marks. All right, bring you guys back. The rain is not cooperating. It's just getting worse. It's steady, like a little bit harder than a drizzle on us now. But so we... Billy cut this here, that part behind this little old schoolhouse here, and then the part on the other side of the little sidewalk. And I cut all this here with the 72. I had to double cut it, but only parts of it, <clears throat> not all of it. <clears throat> Jesus, clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. Da -na 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 -na. I'm trying to show you guys a view. Once this traffic lets up and I get around the corner here, I can't see all Billy's window. But. Two more cars. We're, uh, we're actually thinking about just calling it. It's just, it's gonna, the wetter it gets as the day goes on, this is just gonna get nasty and it's gonna get worse and we're gonna be doubling the work. I mean, none of them are too bad. We're cutting these all three and a half and if it wasn't for wet, we wouldn't have to double cut anything. It, they'd be fine. So that's what we just got done with. It doesn't look bad. It's not great but it's not bad so i think we're just gonna call it i don't know what we'll actually get done this week but you know i know people are eager to get their lawns cut right now and they're just gonna have to understand we're gonna get done what we can get done and that's that i mean what do you want me to do we can't do nothing about this weather we would love to be out cutting right now but i think we're just gonna call it because it's just not stopping and it's only supposed to get worse yeah and the, the first one dude I turn on them blades, and I was just like, In the here we zone. go, baby, and I'm just all the way around the lawn on the first on the first one we did over on the rest. Just in the zone. But all right, since we're right around the corner from my enclosed where the other trimmer, the Adger, geez, buddy, you want to get in your own freaking lane? We're right around the corner from where the my other trimmer, my Adger, and the other gas can out. We're going to grab them. I think we're just going to head back to the shop, put everything in the shop, and uh, I don't know. We'll go from there. Look, guys, get my flow back. Billy's growing his hair back, his flow as he calls it. Yeah. 
Because then, so. you know, I put my hat on, my wings come out the side of my hat, and I flow in the back of the helmet while I'm, while I'm riding my dirt bike. This guy's paving the road right here? I think so. He's too scooting and boogieing, baby. I think they're just cold patching holes. Yep. <clears throat> that's the county boys. Just wait, that's gonna be ripped up in the next year and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Usually but alright, so we're gonna swing over here and get this trailer. Trailer, no we're not. We're gonna get the stuff out of stuff the trailer. Alright, and I need food. Yeah, we never packed lunch. We did not pack a lunch, you are correct. We didn't not pack a lunch? I said we did not pack a lunch. Play back the footage! Play back to nothing. Play back the footage. Play back your life a couple years. What? <laughs> Play back the footage. Alright. We might be back after this. So this might be the end, who knows? So we decided to continue on. The rain stopped and they said, now it's gonna be stopped dead till like two o'clock. And it's currently 10.01. So we're at the sleep center we've done for years. And in the back over there, the big stretch, there's a spot where I saw from a distance, we just trimmed the whole thing out, but I saw from a distance where somebody came in and did a big swoop and back out. I saw it, like I said, from a distance, so I don't know how bad the ruts are, but we're about to find out when I get back there with this 72. Whew. I don't know about you, Billy, but uh, kind of looks like that sun's trying to come out. Yeah. I hear a mower. You hear a mower in the distance? I hear one. We're not the only ones out. Surprise me. Uh, well, Last you, week you is when everyone should have been be doing. Out right now. What? I said you already know who else would be out right now. Yeah, in the rain. <laughs> yep. Bailey Brothers. <laughs> yep. They're the only ones that mow in the rain, but it, the rain stopped. So, but everyone should have been out cutting last week. I think. I think everyone's regretting not going out last week. But you know, we got so much. We got so much mulch done and so many cleanups done. I'm happy to get them out of the way. So we still got a big, lot more to go, but big mulch jobs. yeah, we got big mulch jobs left to go. But uh, oh well, long well, care we lifestyle, did, baby. We did get one of our our big mulch jobs done on Thursday or on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, that yeah. was a, that's a monster every year, and we did it in about three and a half, four hours faster this year than last year. Yep. And we only had one extra guy, but we got it down pat. Last year's the first year we did it. So all right, let's go mow. Okay, so this whole back here, you guys see me most many times. This and it goes all the way down there. But these are the ruts I was telling you about. Drove all the way in. Usually this is a swamp over here. I can't believe I'm not walking through water. And they're not too bad, a little bit there. But they get deeper right here and they go back out. I don't know if I can, oh no, that's hard. I can't even figure maybe I could stomp some of it down. I can't even stomp it down. I'm gonna have to be careful. The duck's gonna hit that hard. Oh, that's nice. Aren't people great? People are fantastic. Idiots. All right, let me mow this sucker. I'll see how much I can film for you. You'll see I started for the next couple sections. I sped up the mowing. I mean, the video was just 46 minutes in length before I started editing it and I had to cut it back some, but I got cut off in that last part where I was doing the narration. Um, but what I was saying was all in all, I love the mower. I love the way it cuts. It's fast, it's comfortable to ride on, and it's nice. So, you know, as long as I can get it to where I want it and it actually doesn't give me any more issues throughout the season and it lasts, um, then it will definitely be, you know, worth me purchasing it and worth me putting the work and the money into it that I have. Um, but you know we'll see time will tell and we'll see how it goes this summer if it holds up and it does what i want it to do then then it was a good purchase but otherwise i just wasted a crap ton of money when i should have just bought something else but i will tell you this um jumping on the 52 right that i bought last year after being on this i feel like i'm jumping on the 32. it's definitely nice having this big mower without a doubt According to the timer on the camera, that took me two minutes and 34 seconds. So, it's not bad, I'll take it. This thing strikes pretty nice. I don't know if 
y'all remember this one. This auto garage, this thing caught fire like uh, three weeks ago, but it's only the one side of it. But um, this was the one that was like two feet tall that me and Billy had to come into a cleanup in the heat of summer last year. And uh, toward the end of the year. And we're mowing it again. So for those of you that have made it this far in the video, uh, I know some of you don't like the long videos and you'll click out long before this point, but uh, you know, it, I think it definitely came out as a really good video and I haven't recorded any lawn care stuff obviously yet this year and uh, the rest of the videos throughout the year will not be this long. I don't do the week in reviews anymore, that's why I upload separate videos, but um, I'll try to keep them much shorter. Uh, but there was just a lot to cover and we were just having a lot of fun, you know, filming today and, you know, all the stuff that we miss doing, like, that we, that we do all the time, every year. And, uh, it was nice to be back out working, back out mowing. And even though we had to fight the rain all day long and dodge raindrops, uh, we still had a blast and it was just good to be back out there. Um, so I hope all you guys make it to the end of the video and there will be more. Well, we got caught up in the rain again, but we just got the apartments done. Got everything done except for the big section over there, but that barely even grows. Yeah, all the main parts on the huge section way out here done. Had to double cut everything. It was so bad. And up here, Billy decided to cut it super short and left clumps everywhere. And it was a mess. And so I spent like a half hour up here breaking up that whole section with a backpack blower. Um, there's really nowhere to throw the grass, so sometimes you just got to cut it high and leave your shoot blocker halfway down to avoid all those clumps flying everywhere they're not supposed to be, which is exactly where they went. But yeah, so Billy's wrapping up one last spot he forgot to do over there in the corner. And uh, he just had to mow that and blow it off. And it's raining again. What time is it? 1.46. Saw rain about 15 minutes ago and 20 minutes ago. And they said that it was going to start coming down <laughs> about 2 o'clock. And it was going to just get harder and harder the rest of the day. So we're going to head back to the shop. I'm happy we got this far. We're going to head back to the shop and uh, scrape these decks because I'm sure they're bad and get everything ready to go for tomorrow. Hopefully we can even mow tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I just got my ass handed to me. Golly. Usually takes me about a good half hour to weed whack this place, my portion anyway. And uh, it was an hour and 20 minutes of weed whacking. I got string wrapped around me. Oh, look at me, I'm covered. Oh, it's all wet, sticky, nasty. But. All the way around the buildings, out about three feet, is all of two and a half to three feet tall. And when we did our final fall clean up here, blew all the leaves, we weed whacked the entire thing. How did that happen? How did it get so freaking tall? It's like somebody came along and walked the whole perimeter of every building and sprayed it with fertilizer or something. That's crazy. Maybe the gutters aren't working, all the water's going straight down in there. And they're really hot weed Let me show you what I mean. So... There's this whole building back here. It's like a big L-shaped building. There's big section, middle, small, where the office is, another big section. It's a big area to mow here, big area behind it, big area all the way across the back, all this across the front. Then there's this big building over here, which is even bigger, and big area around the back. And then the whole front, the whole big main front yard, that's big. And then the property goes all the way down there. If you see over there, there's another big building, only one building in that chunk. Those areas are huge. Um, in, the, in front of it, behind it, and then on the other side of the parking lot area, it's huge out there, all the way out to the main road. We mow all of this. Uh, and 
it's a lot. But Billy's up front. He does the front section. I do the back section. And then whichever one of us gets done first does the whole main fairway straight up through here to connect the two sections. But ah, I'm covered. I'm sweating and my back's killing me. But it was killing me after the last set, two towns away. This is all part of the same thing. Um, there's actually three sets in one set in three different towns and uh so we take care of that set and we take care of this set that one's in lewiston new york this is in wilson new york and there's another one in middleport new york which i sub that one out to josh mike and connor mow that um but yeah that's a lot of freaking trimming i wonder if billy's building up front there was the same way where it was so freaking tall all the way around the building that's weird that's weird it was never like that last year uh, but the first couple cuts of the season here, Josh did it for me. Um, and then I took it over. Because I had it subbed out to him and Middleport. And then I just kept him doing Middleport and I took care of this one. I took this one over, me and Billy. So we we're doing Lewiston and this one. And same thing this year, he's going to do, he's doing the other one too. But man, I'm glad the rain stopped. But now I'm going to go sit on the mower for about an hour. Stand on the mower for an hour. Whew, this is going to be a long video. Guys were asking for it. Hey, give me a long care video. Stop posting these motorcycle videos, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep posting them anyway. But I told you guys before, probably three days a week, I'm going to aim for Monday, Wednesday, Friday to upload long care videos. So first day of morning of the season. You guys are getting a long one. Hope you like it. So much we're not supposed to rain anymore. About the last 25 minutes of mowing here, it just started to steady freaking rain. It's already starting to lighten up a little bit, but everything got soaked. But this entire place is mowed. Billy's just blowing off the last of the sidewalk right there. But uh, yeah, it was bad, bad. It looks good now though. Everything's all mowed nice and neat. But that's a wrap. Now instead of being way behind like I thought early this morning and we wouldn't get barely anything done, now we just have three small houses left we didn't get done. We got all the big commercials done today. Except for the random commercial, bigger commercials we have during the week, but most of them are on Mondays and uh, we got all the big ones done today. So we have like four big ones left for the week besides everything else we do. That's a wrap.